Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So the drug I am going to discuss in this video is azithromycin. I am Amar and my group member is Zai Shabir Nakvi. So what basically azithromycin is? It is an antibacterial drug that belongs to the macrolide groups. It prevents the growth of bacteria by preventing the synthesis of protein. Talking about administration, it can be taken orally as it is not affected by acids and it also does not require protection from the gastric acid. Its absorption is believed to be greater when taken empty stomach but mostly advised to take with the food. And talking about availability, it is available in various oral forms, oral suspensions and and tablets, uh, eye drops, intravenous doses. Then origin, azithromycin is a semi-synthetic 15-membered macrolide antibiotic uh, which is derived from erythromycin A by a sequence of oximation, Beckman rearrangement reduction and N-methylation. Uh, then chemical nature, azithromycin as the dihydrate is a white crystalline powder. Uh, here is the molecular formula and its molecular weight is 785. Then talking about the pharmacokinetics azithromycin, it is an acid stable and food decreases its absorption of capsule. Distribution azithromycin accumulates in neutrophils, macrophages, fibroblasts. It has also large volume of distribution and longest half life that is greater than 40 hours. Then elimination azithromycin are primarily concentrated and are excreted through bile. Then pharmacodynamics azithromycin exhibits antimicrobial activity by binding to the 50S ribosome and inhibiting protein translation. H influenza mechanisms of resistance against the microlides includes ribosomal methylase and intrinsic or acquired efflux pumps and alteration in ribosomal proteins. Then talking about the crucial point that is root of administration, in azithromycin there is intravenous therapy and that is most usually followed by azithromycin by the oral route and you can give that at a single daily dose of 500 mg or two doses of 250 mg and then here is the uh, table of the dosage with respect to the weight uh, for example if the person or the child is 10 kg you can give him 100 mg once a day and if the child is of 20 kg you can give him 200 mg once a day and 50 kg or more 500 mg and or two doses of 250 it shows its effect within one to two hours and it should be given one to two hours before or after taking meal because absorption of azithromycin is best in empty stomach then moving towards the drug interaction as we know if we take a drug it may or may not interact with the other drugs in the stomach that we have taken before so we also need to keep in mind that if we take azithromycin we need to know which drug it will interact so these are the some drugs listed below that azithromycin can interact with for example antacids having magnesium or aluminium and then dioxin uh, that is a hard medicine as you know every drug has its toxic effect and uh, Gastrointestinal toxicity is common but it is not that severe, it is typically mild and the patient having uh, toxic effects of the zithromycin usually complete their prescribed course without having uh, severe issues and this toxicity usually is generated or it stems largely from zithromycin's activation of pro-motility receptor in the GIT. We mentioned toxicology but how to, how to cope with the toxicology. First of all you need to take antibiotics as directed some antibiotics should be taken only with water. Some people take different medicine with the milk thinking that it will benefit them but it can cause toxicity. You should also finish the entire prescribed course. Some people when they get healthy they don't care if the course is completed or not. They give up taking medicine and this is not a healthy practice it can cause you toxicity then you should abstain from alcohol as we know that azithromycin is basically a generic name and some of the famous brand that it come under is Zithromax, Zithromax, Tripac and Zmax